Hello everyone. Welcome to this course that is Architecting on AWS. So this is the course introduction. We are going to understand that what we are going to study in this entire course. As you can see over here, this is content of the course, right? In total, we are going to cover 13 of this uh, topics or you can say the modules. The very first module is about Architecting Fundamentals Review into which we are going to understand what are the benefits of using AWS and how AWS is present globally. Okay, what is the global infrastructure of AWS? The second module talks about account security into which we will be understanding about a service called as identity and access management where we will be understanding how to give users the required permission to access the AWS resources. The third topic talks about networking in which we'll be understanding how to create our own private networks on AWS and what are the other components of that. The fourth module talks about the compute service. Specifically, we are going to talk about the EC2 and we will be touching a little bit about the Lambda service. We will be understanding in depth about both the service in this fourth module, which is compute. It, it basically explains us about the computation power that is being provided to us on AWS platform. The fifth module talks about storage, that if you want to store the data on AWS, then what all services are there? The services are specifically S3 and EFS. These are both the services that is simple storage service and elastic file storage. These are the services that we are going to discuss. The sixth module talks about database services, where we are going to understand about the relational and the non-relational database services, which are being offered by AWS. So we will be talking about a service called as RDS, that is relational database service of AWS. And the other service is DynamoDB. This is the non-relational or NoSQL database provided to us by AWS. Seventh module talks about monitoring and scaling. So once you have created your architecture on AWS, then you have to monitor that architecture, right? You have to worry about scaling. Scaling basically means that, let's take one example, a very simple and a quick example, that uh, if you are having uh, any e-commerce website, okay, onto that e-commerce website, if the festival days are going on, then there are sales, right? So when the sales are going on, the traffic would be very high. So our existing infrastructure, which, which would be having, let's say, you know, two or three instances, it wouldn't be able to handle that traffic. So we have to automatically add up more resources to our infrastructure for handling that traffic. Okay, so that is about monitoring and scaling. And monitoring basically means that to monitor our infrastructure, whether everything is going okay or not. The eighth module would be talking about automation. So if you want to create the infrastructure, basically when we talk about architecting, okay, architecting means what? It means to create the infrastructure on AWS. And what is infrastructure? It means to create the required resources. Okay, if you want the computation capacity, you can either go with EC2 or Lambda. If you want to create the storage, you can create S3 buckets, right? So Creating this infrastructure or creating these services is called as architecting, right? So according to the business requirement, we do create these infrastructures. Now this can be done in various ways, but if you want to automate creating the infrastructure, okay, that once I have written all my requirements that I need suppose EC2, okay, I need S3 and I need RDS. I've written this uh, requirement into one documentation with a specific in language like JSON or YAML. And if I want to deploy this again and again, or I want to automate the deployment of this infrastructure, then we will be using this automation techniques. Okay, the ninth module then talks about containers. So this will be talking about what is containerization, what is microservices, and what are the services which are available for supporting containerization on AWS? 
So we would be talking about service called as ECS, that is Elastic Container Service. And we would be talking about EKS, that is Elastic Kubernetes Service on AWS. The 10th module talks about the advanced part of networking, such as VPC peering and VPC endpoints. Okay. 11th module would be talking about serverless architecture. Now, when I'm creating my infrastructure, I'm configuring that, okay, let's say that uh, I want to run a virtual machine in cloud. Okay, so I have to configure that what is the capacity of that virtual machine, how much of memory it would be having, right? So if I don't want to worry about the backend infrastructure at all, I just want to upload my code and it should be working on AWS. Okay, I don't need those configuration. I don't need to worry about scaling. So if that is the case that we want, then we have to go towards the serverless architecture. Don't worry if you're not understanding it totally at this point, because we are going to discuss in depth when we go to module 11. The 12th topic would be edge services. So into the first module itself, we are going to understand about a concept called as edge locations. Okay. So once you understand this edge location, it would be easy for you to understand these edge services. So these are the services which are available on edge locations. For example, the content delivery network, okay, which caches are frequently used data into nearby locations or servers for delivering our data faster to the customers. So that is edge service. Okay, then we have the DNS service that is domain name server which converts our uh, IP address to the domain name and vice versa. So if we want all those uh, requirements and you know, if you want to use all those services, then we have to use them on edge locations, right? So we would be talking about uh, two services over here, which is CloudFront and Route 53. The last module would be talking about backup and recovery. Once you have created your entire infrastructure, okay, there are chances of failures. There are chances of losing the data. So for that, we do require some backup strategies and our recovery plans. So we would be talking about those in this last module. So this basically course would be covering the theory and the dem demonstrations. So we would be going uh, first of all with the theory and whatever topics would be requiring the demonstrations on the AWS portal. So we would be seeing the hands-on approach as well. Okay, we would be practically seeing that how to create the EC2 instance, how to create S3 bucket. So this course would be having theory as well as demos. Right, so this was all about the course introduction. Now, the next video would be talking about the first module that is Architecting Fundamentals Review. Thank you.